Hello, so today I am going to prune this apple tree. It's at least 30 years old and it's been neglected and I pruned it last year, but um, given last year's harvest, it just needs more of it. Let's see how this goes. So I've maybe spent a couple of hours um, sawing wood and pruning uh, the little branches and new shoots on this apple tree. So my issue is height. I definitely need some help with this. I cannot reach the top branches. I have climbed this tree before but it's really awkward and my wellies get stuck. So because I'm five foot um, and I don't have the best upper body strength, uh, I definitely need help. So I'll probably ask my partner to give me a hand maybe this weekend, next weekend, um, a dry day and just get some of those top branches that I can't reach because they're all, they're all interwoven. You know, it, it needs some breathing space. Um, so yeah, there's still more to go, but I'm pleased with what I did today. I, I, I chopped one big branch, um, or it's like a, like a mini trunk nearly. Um, so I've kept the big pieces to one side, so I'll get those dried out in our carport. And then it might make some good firewood in a year or two, depending on how well it dries out. I think I'll have a break. I think I'm going to edit yesterday's video and get that posted up today. There's another apple tree, which the apples aren't very good. Um, so I think that whole tree is going to go and like, let's just make some firewood out of that. I'd rather plant a new tree, to be honest. So I'm, I'm looking, am I on that one up? Um, and there's a pear tree that's pretty monkey as well. It's, they just haven't been... They've been neglected. Um, we've lived here two and a half years now, so I know that I know what fruit is good and what isn't. So sometimes it's just best to cut cut your losses. Um, yeah, that's me for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.